When designing a website, you need to change the colors, the margin, the padding, the background images, the form fields, the text color, and a lot more. And the customized control panel helps you do all those quickly and efficiently. And there's three ways to access the customized panel. Move your mouse over Themify settings and choose customize. Or you can move your mouse over appearance and click customize. Or if you're editing a page at the top, click on Customize. When you get to the Customize panel, you'll have two tabs. One that says Basic, which contains less fields. And one that's Advanced that contains more fields. And depending on the level of your technical skill, you might choose one or the other. The basic and advanced tabs in the Customize panel are organized into logical sections. Simply click one of the headings and you'll expand the options underneath. And when you want to see the customization options, just click on one of the titles and you'll see things like background image, background color, border, and margin. So if you wanted to change the header color, let's say to a light gray, you would choose a light gray color from the background color option. And you always want to make sure that you click Save and Publish at the top. Settings from one tab can be seen in the other. For example, if we're on the Basic tab and we change the header color from a light gray to a light blue and click Save, and then go to Advanced and look at the header wrap color. You'll see the light blue color there. The Customize panel also includes a large selection of fonts. It includes the basic web save fonts. and also includes a large selection of Google fonts. And to preview any Google font, simply move your mouse over the font name and a font preview will appear to the right. You can also create responsive styling. At the bottom, there are four icons that correspond to desktop, tablet, and mobile. And when you click either of those, your preview changes. And you can scroll through your website as if you're looking at your website on that particular device. So for example, if we wanted to style the page title a different color, on tablet devices, we would simply choose page title, choose our color, hit save and publish. And then when you preview the website on the different devices, you'll see that the red color only appears on the tablet that we selected. So we can go back to desktop or tablet horizontal, and you'll see that the page title doesn't change. And all changes that you make in the customized panel are instantly previewed on the right hand side. So if we change the site title, for example, you'll see the site title change. But we can also change some attributes, such as italics and underline. We can even change the link destination when someone clicks on it. And changing the site logo from a title to an image is very easy as well. Simply browse to your logo, and you'll see it appear on the right-hand side. The Customize panel also allows you to add custom CSS. For example, here is a block quote. So if you had custom CSS for the block quote, you could paste it here. And your CSS changes are instantly previewed on the right hand side. But you can also change your CSS and see the preview update in real time, such as changing the border style, the padding, and even the margin. So that's just a few of the cool things you can do in the Customize panel.